Our story begins in China, near a city called Xi'an. Here, over 2,200 years ago, the first emperor of China, a man named Qin Shi Huangdi, ordered his artists to hand sculpt a massive army of life-size clay warriors out of terracotta clay. He buried the army in underground pits near his tomb for his protection in the afterlife. As the centuries passed, the local people began to farm the ground that covered the pits. In 1974, while digging a well for water, farmers discovered the clay warriors, but the army was in bad shape. The ceiling of the burial pits had collapsed and shattered nearly all of the estimated 8,000 clay warriors. Scientists, historians, and artists formed into teams to study the terracotta warriors and put them back together. As they worked, they discovered that every warrior had a unique face and each was painted in vibrant colors. History tells us the emperor ordered the construction of his tomb and clay army when he was only 13 years old. Many consider it an astounding feat of human ingenuity. The tomb and clay army took over 30 years and an estimated 700,000 people to build. By comparison, the Great Pyramid of Giza, a remarkable tomb built for an Egyptian king, required less than half that effort. After the first emperor died, the clay army was sealed in its pit and almost forgotten. Now, after more than 2,000 years, you can see the warriors as they once were. Welcome to Terracotta Warriors, the Emperor's Painted Army from China's Shanxi Province. Step forward and stand face to face with history.